So before we go on the rebounder, I would like to show you what I normally do before I step on the rebounder. I use an Activa ball. This is a nice device to stimulate the proprioceptors on my feet, here on the soles of the feet, so that they wake up and balance better. So how I do it, I place the ball on the ground. I be here either against a wall or I put my hand on the rim of the rebounder. Then I stand next to the ball and I put a little bit of a pressure on the foot with the ball. And then I slowly move the ball under my feet. I don't give too much pressure because that's hurting. But I just give a nice pressure that I feel something. I do round movements here under the arch. And then moving towards the toes and softly back to the heel and again towards the toes. And you just do it like you want, you know, like you feel it should be. Let your body guide you and do that for about a minute or two for one foot and then just put the feet next to each other and for a moment close your eyes and it's just amazing. I feel like a tingling in my foot and then I feel really light energy with the whole leg coming up and I even feel it here. So it's like breathing, the whole side here is breathed. Now I want to give this nice experience also to my other side. So I massage, going back and forth with my foot towards the heel, and then also round movements, nice pressure. Ah, it feels good. Ah, yay. Okay, you can do it longer. I stop it here because we want to do other movements. And now I feel again and I have this great feeling of aliveness now in my entire body. If you don't have an Activa ball, you can get one. Um, I have it on my website under the accessories. Yeah, and let's now go on to the rebounder. I'm often asked what it is better to do to rebound with shoes, so sneakers, or to go barefoot. So for some people, some people they need sneakers, uh, but this is very, very, very few people. Um, people who have very fragile ankles, they need to have sneakers to have just more stabilization and more support on the ankles. For all other ones, it is counterproductive to have sneakers on because what we just have learned about the proprioceptors, you know, the input devices on the sole of our feet, they need to be moved in order that the uh, brain gets enough information so that the brain can tell the muscles how to fire correctly. Mm. So if we don't have this movement of the sole, like when we are in sneakers, you know, it's pretty stable mm. and we don't have any movement going on, then the brain doesn't get a lot of information. So, let's just go in our first exercise. So today, balance. And the exercise is now we do very, very slowly in order that the proprioceptors of our feet get all the information. Yeah? And it is way, difficult, way more difficult to do these exercises slowly than quickly. So the first thing which we do is we go in a parallel stance. So feet are parallel here. Knees are unlocked, the head is like a balloon floating upwards. We have a nice alignment, nice vertical alignment of our body. And now in the beginning just put the hands on the, on the side. Later you can do the same exercise with the hands like that, but for the moment it's easier if you balance like that. And then put a little bit more of the weight on the left foot. A little bit more on, a little bit more, a little bit more, and then come back to the middle, to the center, and then put more weight on the right foot, and come back to the center. Next time you do it, really go with your consciousness in your feet, and the soles of your feet, and feel what's going on. 
Okay, we go to the left hand side. Ah, yeah, there's more pressure now on the outside of the foot, isn't it? And then you come back and you see it's rolling over the arch and now we are in the middle. So the weight is evenly distributed and now we're going on the right side. So my right side outside feels now more involved and we're coming back. And again left and right and left and right. So it's like the fingers on a clock. Dong, 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 or the small ones, tick, tuck, tick, tuck. Are you still feeling your soles of your feet? Okay. And then we come in the middle. And now, now we do it a little bit more difficult, we go forward and backward. Now here is very important that you do very tiny movements. Because we definitely don't want to go too far backwards because then we lose balance and that can be dangerous. Yeah? Those of you who want to do the exercise first with a TheraBand, you can do that. You can put the TheraBand under the rebound and take the ends in your hands, you know, and try it first with the TheraBand, it makes it easier. But then, as soon as you don't need it anymore, you let it go. Yeah? Okay, and now we come forward. Again, you stay in the alignment and you come forward. So you feel more the weight on the toes. Then you are going back in the middle. And now to the heel. Not too far. Pay attention that you don't need to stiffen your neck here. The neck is still, the head is still floating upwards. And then come in the middle and forward and in the middle and backward and come in the middle again make sure your neck is free you could also, you can imagine that um, you know you're like a puppet there's a puppet master and you're the puppet so the puppet master is here so he, to he holds you and you're just a little puppet here <laughs> and with that, the puppet master gets forward slightly, comes back in the middle. You feel the, the whole alignment over the arch and then go back and forward and back and come in the middle. 